Hello and welcome to the France 24 interview. We're here in Vienna at the World Policy Conference. And our guest is Amr Moussa, who was for years Egypt's foreign minister. He was then the secretary general of the Arab League, and he's today a presidential candidate for the elections uh, in Egypt. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Moussa, for being with us. Thank you for inviting me. So we're going to start with the political situation in Egypt that is shifting uh, from, from day to day. Uh, parliamentary elections are going on. The first results show the Muslim Brotherhood arriving in first position, but also the Al Noor uh, platform, uh, which is described as the Salafi platform, making a surprise second place. What's your analysis? Well, we have to uh, wait until the, all the elections uh, finish and uh, the final results uh, are known. But the indications are very clear. Uh, and I, I believe that once we select democracy, we commit ourselves to democracy, we have to accept the results of the democratic uh, process. And therefore, we, uh, uh, we will have a, a majority or a sizable number of deputies belong to the Islamic uh, current, political current. Were you surprised that Al Noor scored, uh, was the second party? Yeah, a little bit, but uh, we also expected, many of us expected that they will have uh, uh, support in, in several constituencies. But not but as whether strong. this will uh, continue to be the case in the second and third phases, it remains to be seen. One thing is clear, the liberal, the so-called liberal parties have failed. I won't say that they have failed, but they couldn't win the majority, but they have several personalities, deputies, uh, there in the parliament, and they can really perform the opposition within the parliament. And I believe that this is very important uh, in order to have, to build a consensus, to have several ideas, several positions, several currents, uh, we will get into this new uh, life of lobbying uh, each other, uh, trying to, to build the consensus. Uh, nothing is foregone conclusion. Uh, this will be in the, in the interest of the country and uh, its political future. So the political future is supposed to be a presidential election. Apparently the military uh, council that's currently ruling the party has agreed to organize it by mid 2012. Is this confirmed? Are you confident? Yes, yes, indeed. It uh, has been agreed uh, with the council uh, uh, by several of us representing the political uh, scene and the military council. The, 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 there must be, our argument was that there must be a road map and a uh, time frame. You cannot just continue in a uh, going on the basis of transitional uh, arrangements. Uh, it will not uh, uh, give the country the right chance to build the economy on, and uh, long-term planning and get the necessary uh, investments and, and so on. In fact, the, 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 uh, the debate was uh, very objective. Uh, uh, at the end, uh, we agreed that the, uh, by the 1st of July to 2012, the president of the republic would be installed. Okay, but I'm a little bit confused because uh, there's currently parliamentary elections. The parliamentary is supposed to draft a constitution, then you have a presidential election. I mean, how does that work? Isn't this totally fact, upside down? In fact, our debate, yes, of course, we should have started with the constitution. Yes. Long time ago, from the beginning. Uh, and perhaps the first election should have been to elect a constitutional assembly to draft the, the, uh, the constitution, but this was not the case. So the second uh, logical thing was to elect the president first in order for him to supervise, to preside over the transitional period uh, and the, the writing of the constitution, and then the election would start, the parliamentary elections. But uh, the, the uh, debates uh, dictated otherwise. Uh, therefore, many of us, including myself, thought that, all right, if you want the parliamentary elections, let us go. Let us not uh, postpone or procrastinate. 
let the parliament be elected. But in our discussion that led to this, to, to the agreeing on the time frame, uh, we were all of the opinion that the constitution doesn't need a year, doesn't need six months, doesn't need a long time. Since there is a consensus on almost all the issues, uh, with the, and perhaps a further debate is needed for four points, the, the identity of the country, and the, which is uh, called Article 2, uh, that the uh, general principles of uh, Sharia uh, uh, are the basis for the... the, the you agree with that? that? Not only I agree with that, but the Pope, the Orthodox Church, agrees with that. Uh, we will add, of course, that all adherents to other religions will have uh, the, the laws uh, and regulations of their religion to uh, arrange their uh, affairs. The, I, I don't think a big debate will, uh, uh, will be needed because the consensus is growing among Muslims and Christians that this article uh, should be uh, accepted as is. The uh, second point is about the uh, system. Is it the presidential system? Or is this the, what you wish? Uh, the, the parliamentary, parliamentary. I am of the view that presidential system is what we need now. I understand. This stage. I understand that this is not the Muslim Brotherhood yes, point of view. Yes, it is not their point of view, but all currents now are moving towards a central point that why not a mixed uh, system, presidential and parliamentary. It could be messy. Something around the, uh, the basic lines of the French system. Uh, so it will be presidential in nature. Uh, and with the government elected uh, by the majority and, and, and so on. So I am for a presidential system at this stage. So this is another point. The third point is about the, the how to constitute the members of parliament only on the basis of parties, not necessarily uh, workers and farmers, as 50% of uh, workers and farmers, as what was stipulated in the previous uh, regime and constitution. This also uh, won't be a problem. And the fourth one is the role of the army. That's the main yes, point yes. now. And, and this, uh, what should it be? Can you be precise? Well, it's a question not necessarily to be precise at each and every moment, because there are certain sensitive things that will have to be talked about, have to be the subject of a quiet discussion, not necessarily public discussion. But it's been the subject stage. of noisy protests. Absolutely, and the, in the last few Violent weeks, ones. In the last few weeks, a certain document was circulated, was proposed, giving the, uh, the army or the command uh, uh, three or four major... Uh, uh, Prerogatives. Yeah, you can say parameters, you can say role. Uh, the reaction was very clear that this is not what uh, should be. And you agree but with that? Need, uh, yeah, I, of course, I'm, the, 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 as, as drafted was not absolutely necessary. And it came at the wrong moment and with the wrong drafting and the reaction was clear. Therefore, we start from there, from that point. But I suggest that such a discussion will have to be preceded by some give and take and sitting together and what moving should, on. What should you give to the army? What well, should the civilian a, power yeah, give no, to the army? Look, the army, should be, as it is, one of the basic institutions of the state, like other major institutions. Uh, but it is a civilian state and a constitutional state, governed by the president, by the government, by the parliament, and the army will have its important place as the protector of the, the country, uh, we will have to move gradually from where we were for 60 years uh, to a normal democratic state. This will happen, this will take place. But I suggest, uh, and I believe really, that this needs a wise, uh, positive atmosphere to sit and talk about it and reach uh, or chart the map for the future relationship. Uh, quickly, the last point. Uh, you're ahead in the polls for the presidential election. The Muslim Brotherhood will be the main power. How do you deal with them? You were for years a member of uh, the government of Hosni Mubarak. You're known as a secular figure. How do you deal with them? 
Well, we will have to deal with it. It's not an impossible case, not a helpless case. Did you start they, they negotiating? Themselves, they themselves uh, understand that the that what the country needs, that we live in a world in the 21st century that we need to be part of the uh, international or the global uh, uh, approach. Uh, we need a lot in cooperation with the world. Have so, you started discussing with them? Well, the, the, the discussion started already. It is there and in, in, in meetings and in, in the newspapers in uh, the uh, interviews. Everybody is aware of this point. And I believe that we, uh, there will be a kind of understanding on how to move on. That is why with the, with the, uh, the majority, as it seems to be the case, uh, is for the Muslim Brotherhood in the Parliament, the uh, presidential, uh, the presidency in, in Egypt should be, uh, should, should function on the basis of presidential system that the president uh, become the arbiter, the president become the boss that has to take into consideration how to build a consensus, bearing in mind the majority in the parliament and the mood in the country. So in, in a nutshell, there should be a secular president with an Islamist if, if majority. You, you know, it's not a question of using uh, uh, expressions like secular president and religious. The, the parliament will not be religious. The president will be a nationalist president who understands what the, the interests of the country uh, are and does not necessarily belong to the Muslim Brotherhood or to any other party. Okay. Thank you very much, Amr thank Moussa, you. for uh, coming on the France 24 interview, and thank you all for watching it. Stay tuned here for more news.